Hi, I'm Tony, and this is Lab Time with Anton Parr. Today, I'm going to explain how you can take your viscosity measurements to the next level with a move beyond D445 to the simplicity of D7042. Before I talk about the benefits, here's a quick comparison of the two methods. ASTM D445, the glass capillary method, is an old method established more than 80 years ago. It describes the determination of the kinematic viscosity of a sample with a glass capillary viscometer. The kinematic viscosity is calculated by measuring the flow time and multiplying it with a capillary constant. ASTM D7042, on the other hand, is the more modern method. Initially approved in 2004, it's now widely accepted. D7042 involves calculation of kinematic viscosity via measurement of dynamic viscosity and density. Important to note here, both ASTM D445 and D7042 are indirect methods. The kinematic viscosity is not measured directly, but calculated. But why was D7042 developed in the first place? Well, D445 has a number of limitations related to the level of technology available at the time the method was created. As glass capillaries are matched to viscosity ranges, many capillaries are needed to measure a wide range and samples need to be rerun if an incorrect capillary is selected. Also, each capillary requires regular calibration and has to be tracked in the quality management system. Because the capillaries require a large, constant temperature bath to maintain thermal stability, changing temperatures takes hours. And all of this for just a single parameter, with a huge amount of sample and a procedure that leaves a lot of room for error. That's why two Austrian engineers came up with the D7042 method. They applied now available technologies to eliminate the difficulties associated with measuring viscosity via the D445 method. The benefits of D7042 include measurement of the viscosity with a single robust metal cell with which a remarkably large viscosity range can be covered and which can be thermoelectrically heated and cooled. This means, in effect, the combination of multiple instruments in one, with temperature changes performed in minutes. D7042 also allows determination of other parameters, like dynamic viscosity and density from a sample volume as low as 5 milliliters. As part of the international approval process for D7042, good correlation with D445 was confirmed through multiple studies. Built into the SVM, the ASTM approved correction factor can be applied to directly show a D445 corrected value. This means you obtain a result practically equivalent to D445 right on the screen of your smart viscometer. Now, you may be wondering what kind of samples D7042 can be used on. Well, it's a very well accepted standard that can determine viscosity in more than 50 international standards, including specifications for samples like diesel fuel, aviation fuel, lubricants, fuel oils, and many more. So, if you're looking to determine the kinematic viscosity of your sample, Anton Parr's SVM is the obvious choice. See you next time.